Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the performance of a good screen. And this right here is our new technology. The screen is actually called, a, this is actually a nickname uh, Project uh, Future Vision 4K. These are our new panel screens. These will allow you to be to connect different panels together to make larger screens. Or bottom line, some of these panels will be flexible so you can make all kinds of 360 design screens, all kinds of cool things. Things we can do you can do with this uh, technology now um, one of the things I pointed out the most and I say this over and over again that when you go to a lot of these showrooms some showrooms sometimes in Best Buy and some other places where they're demonstrating these high-end screens chances are they will have a very high-end professional projector that's actually projecting on that screen now you go buy that screen, you take it home, you use it on your projector, it looks like crap. The reason why it looks like crap is because you're not using that particular projector. Because the projector does mostly all the work. Now, listen when I say this to you. Just listen. When you see somebody using a high-powered projector in the exact same environment that in a low-entry-level projector is using, say it's a 1080p projector, uh, and you, you buy an upgrade version of a better projector, and in the same projector sits, a high professional projector sits in the exact same dark environment or poorly lit environment, it just shows you that it's the projector that does all the work. It should be a change up. You should have a bright ambient lit room if you're using that kind of high end projector. So if you're taking, let's say, a 1080p projector and you have it in a dark environment and then you go change out and you get a 4K projector and you have it in a dark environment, what does that tell you? It tells you right there that the environment hasn't changed in any way. It's just a switch out on different projectors and one projector is just producing a better picture because of the capability of that projector. Therefore, since the environment has not changed, it shows you that the technology in the screen is poor. And that's something that a lot of people don't see in these demonstrations. They're all, um, some people get caught up in the wow factor of the picture and don't realize that if that projector, uh, the high caliber that it may be, has not changed the environment or this uh, screen technology, working with that form of high-end technology has not changed the environment, then you will be subjected to the environment in which you see in the demonstration. And that's what I try to explain. That's why when I watch these demonstrations with so many big companies using these high-end projectors, there's a 100% chance, or actually I say 90% chance, that that projector is doing all the work. This is why we use low entry level projectors. This is why we use 720p. Because my customer can come and go, hmm, my projector is better than that. Or I have the same projector. And it looks like that on that screen, that's amazing. That's the reason why we do it. This is why we get the contracts. It's because companies come in and see we can use a low brand projector and still achieve an amazing screen. Now let me show you something right here. As usual, Brookstone. 200 lumen projector, 720p, no 4K, no 1080p, none of that. This is about as low as, you actually can go lower than that, I can get a Discovery, that's a very low projector. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Discovery projector, <laughs> they're very bad, they're on QVC. If you, serve, if you want a good laugh, watch that demonstration, it's even funny if you own the projector while you're watching that demonstration. Now, we're going to be doing this through my Chromecast, we're going to be doing this in 720p, we're going to be doing this on the new panel screens. The panel screens are using Smart Technology Gain Times 8, they also have Color Enhancement Technology embedded in these screens. Now our projector, let's show you the measuring tape because I see demonstrations being done on these low entry projectors and always the projector is sitting at least between 3 and 4 feet up on the screen. I'm going to show you we're coming in at 13 feet on a pocket projector. Now I'm pretty sure those of you that are watching this demonstration and you own a projector in the process of buying a projector, you would not use this for your main projector. I'm, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. Pretty sure your projector is a lot better than this. All right, now we'll come over here. So we're gonna have light in the environment, as you can see, light in the environment. And we're not going to use a high-end, high-power projector. Some people do this all the time, use a high-end projector. We just have our 200 lumen projector. That's it. So, let's remove this. And you want to see what we get? This is what the screen can produce on 200 lumens at only 20% done. This screen is only 20% done. They're not even finished yet. They're still in testing. At 20% done, this is the capability of this technology. With this technology, and, and all our technology, we have, um, we have screen paint upstairs. You see me do this demonstration on the dark slate on 200 lumens. 
You see me do the demonstration on a hundred, uh, uh, sorry, 2000 lumen projector. No 4K, no 1080p, no 4K upscaling, no calibration, no change in the factory settings, everything at its purest. That's the way it's supposed to be done. You know, you'll have companies out there and people try to convince you that you need these high power projectors and or you can't even, I had somebody tell me that a company told him once that you can't even see the screen without having this projector. Okay. This is where we prove you wrong. Now the panels are very lightweight. Some are going to be flexible. I got these panels actually on the wall hanging up by the 3M uh, Velcro. That's it. And this is 200 lumens. If I hit this with the 3200 lumen projector upstairs, what do you think will happen? Which I'm going to be doing today. Even our lowest entry level technology is still better than some of these high end screens on the market. Oh my, this is three panels connected together. These screens are fantastic for commercial use. And I, I got something interesting I want to say. I'm not going to say the name of the company. I was quite shocked yesterday. Uh, I got an interesting phone call by a very big projection screen company. I'm not going to say who it was. I'll probably be calling back later on the day to just talk to them a little more. They're very interested in the technology we are developing over here. And um, it, it, it's interesting, it's very interesting. So I guess I may be calling them back just out of curiosity, not any interest in basically uh, uh, having our technology branded by other particular companies. Let's just say we do have some companies, but just say some companies I will choose to stay away from for other purposes, but just kind of curious. I'm gonna poke around in that a little bit. Because you know what, I'll tell you why. Because when a big company comes and they watch a YouTube demonstration, they come and run across our technology, they notice that we're not using a high-end projector. Or we're not using an expensive projector. We're just using a low entry level projector. So they're thinking if they're using a low entry level projector and the screen looks that amazing, imagine what the screen is going to look like on our high caliber projector. Mind you, 13 feet back, 200 lumens, that's it. It just proves that you don't have to have an expensive projector in order to achieve a good picture or a perfect picture. You don't need it. Look how much of the picture that you can gain from a 200 lumen projector at 13 feet back. Mind the screen's only 
around 20% done. Still got a lot more work to go. Okay, I'm Kenneth Murray from Crystal H Technology Screens. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, the new technology will be available very soon. Also, to keep in mind, you can pre-order the screens because these things are going to sell really fast. They're going to be sold in sets of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Easy to connect together, easy to design your ultimate screen or customize your own screens with our amazing panels. Let's look at that. Well, thank you all for watching. I might just play a little bit longer. Alright, you guys 